everyone, a quick one. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you. I'm Oko Emmanuel Nyeko Kulora. I am at Institute of Management and Technology, Enugu, IMT. Uh, I came here in 2017, 2018, and continue to cry over the decayed infrastructure here. But black people can never be proactive. They can never prevent anything until it became calamity, until it caused chaos and confusion. Uh, look there, let me turn the camera so you see. This building it has decayed. This building is in a mess. I don't know how to get in and students are not here. If I try to put myself in there, they might see me as a thief or somebody who, come to, or who came to Buga, their hostel. According to people I spoke to, this hostel is one of the finest in IMT, Institute of Management and Technology. And students here, they pay school fees. Share this video. Look there. This balcony collapsed and three students are currently in intensive care unit, in the emergency unit of an unknown hospital in Enugu. But I called on the people of Nigeria to put pressure on government. Enugu State government, Governor, we found Uguani was celebrating birthday with over 50 people the other day. Nobody's talking about this school. Whether it's state government or federal government, I don't care. These people are so irresponsible. You can imagine how students survive in here. Look at that chaos, that disaster. Maybe one of them died or they caught the leg or the hand. I don't know. Our people can never, can never think. Look at, look at it. And people are still living here. But due to the strike or the coronavirus outbreak, the pandemic uh, epidemic, nobody's here. Look at a hostel. Look at how they are exposed to danger. This is the best hostel at in IMT Enugu, Institute of Management and Technology. I don't know where we'll go from here. This is Nigeria. This is the country you are proud of. This is where students live. And in a single room here, you might have five or seven students living in it. The other day I was at UNEC, Enugu, University of Nigeria, Enugu campus. I was at Mbono, GK Hostel. I was crying, but nobody listened to me. This is not my today's broadcast. My today's broadcast is going to come around 12 p.m. I am at IMT to make you see, to make you feel the agony, the pain people pass through every day because they are Nigerians. People, we are here. This place collapsed. This building decayed very long time ago. And students here, they pay school fees. But the authorities are wicked. They are irresponsible. This is why their children are studying in China, in France, in Germany, in Denmark, in Japan, in Australia, the United States of America, and United Kingdom. These people are wicked. These students are in hospital. I don't know. I want to get the name of the hospital so I can visit, but... As at now, I could not verify, I cannot authenticate the information given to me. I need to know the hospital where they are. I need them to speak to camera. IMT, Institute of Management and Technology. There are more than 30,000 students in this school. Maybe they are paying 40,000 naira per semester. 40,000 naira times 30,000 people. Why this wickedness? IMT, Institute of Management and Technology. I have critical information to share about full and yes men and their murderous nature but it's going to be later on today look at the environment of imt institute of management and technology if i stay here two days i will die there is no way i will survive here for two days but people stay here for four years they fell course they stay five years they stay in here six years nigerian government don't deserve sympathy all of them need to die of coronavirus in fact yeah, if they, they need to they need to push for that they need to bring more coronavirus into nigeria since it's going to the elite and not the suffering masses and you must be very stupid you must be god forsaken you must be terrible in thinking to ever wish buhari abakiyari yaya yabelo whatever idiot to you find you go and all of them will you be an you must be foolish to pray for them to be coronavirus free. Look at the best hostel. You know, this is the best hostel in IMT. <laughs> this is the best. This is the best one. If you go to the worst ones, I don't know how you feel, but my focus point, my vocal point is on this one because of the collapse. I called on the authorities to do something, but nobody did. So look at the state of IMT. I wish I can go further and show you more devastating. But look at how dirty this place is. This is a school environment. You know, abroad, this place should be a scenery. 
this place should be a park, a meeting park in the evening where students meet each other. There should be ten table tennis courts there. There should be lawn tennis there. There should be basketball, badminton, you know, soccer pitch, infrastructures here, but there is nothing here. Everything here is dead. And nobody's complaining. This place is very dirty. Students here are exposed to wild animals. A snake or a reptile, anything can come here. Look at where students live. There is no window. There is no proper ventilation. You can imagine the state of the toilet here. I wish I can get inside, but I don't know the entrance. I don't know how to get in here. This place is dirty. This is a hostel. Look at the distance between the, the bush and then the hostel. Can't snake get in there, reptile, all these deadly reptiles, animals, wouldn't they get in here? Let me step a bit closer. It's dangerous, but I have to do. Look at the room here. Look at where your, your son is like a toilet. Look at where your son, your daughter lives. Look at her, why they are illiterate, because they don't sleep well, they don't rest well. They were denied all the basic things of life. Look at where your child lives, your cousin. Your friend, look at where they live. You know, they tell you they study in Nigeria. They study in a suit, IMT, your neck, bottle everywhere. This is pathetic. This is painful. I don't know whether I buy all this crap. Whether people of Nigeria are cost. You know, I've continued to say uh, they have continued to prove me right because I made a claim that Nigeria is on that heavy cost. In fact, the person who cost Nigeria is dead. You know, I've been hearing you. I say, let me come here since I'm around. Let me see for myself. This is a hostel. I've lived abroad. I've studied abroad. If you see a hostel, you know that Jesus is Lord. You have everything you need in this life in a hostel. But in Nigeria, a country so wealthy, a country blessed with mineral resources, everything. The country with gold, everything, aquamarine, tomarine, sapphire, oil. Talk about crude oil, gas. Talk about fuel, everything, kerosene. Nigerians, we are blessed with this thing, but they've continued to uh, bring imbecilic people to lead them. It's painful. It's pathetic. It's not right. Let me show you. This is the hostel. <laughs> bunk bed. Yeah, it's bunk bed. I think this is the pit. This is the hostel. Let me get further closer. So you see. This is IMT. This is what I want to do all my life. This is what I want to do forever. Jobs like this. Telling you how people... Which one is this? Maybe the entrance. This is the hostel here in IMT. <laughs> Look at the hostel where your child studies. Look at them. This is, I don't know if it's toilet or not. Look at the hostel. It's a hostel. Okay. I know what I did to be able to get in here. The, the authorities, they blocked me. You know, I'm vocal, I'm powerful in voice. So I have to do what I have to do to get in here. I don't even care whether they arrest me or no. I don't care. If you know me very well, I am ready to die for what I believe in. Nigeria is evil. Nigeria is irredeemable. Nigeria is a cause. You know, it's obvious. The hostel in IMT. Share this video. I want the world to see. To know why we need to pull away from Nigeria. Kill all the politicians representing Igbo extraction. The tribe of Igbo and have a new country. You know, you see, if I borrow a cocoa or borrow nonsense, this is reality. If you want to my leg is very dirty because I'm stepping on these things. It's a hostel. And according to people, this is the best hostel. I came to this best one because of the collapse. You can imagine the state of the bad ones, the poor ones. I ain't but the students are not focal. Uh, um, same bed in Wari Prison. Yes, the same bed in Wari Prison is a bunker. It's a bunker. I don't put fire and I don't see you. Then we can kill nobody. These things happen and we don't have media in Nigeria. Nobody reported this thing. Nobody. Even the students are not talking about these things. They are terrible. You know, you call them product of a failed system, product of a God forsaken country, product of a failed country. Once again, look. Look at it, and up to date, nobody came here to fix these things. The authorities, the school, nobody. Look at the collapse. Three girls in the hospital because of this collapse. You see? You see? Ah, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. As you can see, that is why they don't like me. Because I keep going about exposing their evil 
We need Biafra. Honestly, we need to. Ah, Yoko Imano Onyeko Kulora. If I stay here two days, I will die. You look at how I'm sweating, how uncomfortable I am. If I stay here two days, I will die. But somebody's son, somebody's daughter, somebody's cousin, nephew, niece, stay here for five years, for six years. The suffering is too much. So, it's terrible. Some people are there looking at me. I don't know who sent them to come and look at me. But I do not care. <laughs> I do not care. So, it's terrible. This is IMT Hostel. It is the hostel. Do you want to talk to me? Okay. Maybe the students. Some Are you students here? No, okay. I, I want to confirm who they are. They are the authorities. I don't care. So, I want you to know the state of IMT. Students here are heavily suffering. You know, but they need a messiah. They need a talker. They need somebody to come and talk about them. I wish I can find some students who live here to come. Uh, maybe they are videoing me. Is you know that? I need some students who live here to come and interact with me. Tell me how difficult it is living here. I'm not sure they have electricity here. Uh, there is nowhere they have running water here. I'm not sure they have a decent drainage system here. Life here is terrible. No cutting. Everything is dirty. The walls are dirty. The beds are terrible. Nothing. There is nothing here. These are where Nigeria produced their graduates from. That is why you see idiots in big offices. They, they came from here. There is nowhere you come out with your sanity after living here for four or five years. You know, one thing about education is not about big grammar, not about classroom or stuff. Convenience matters. A, a student needs a proper environment, basketball court, badminton, football, decent living condition. So after the battle in classroom, you go back home, rest, feel air conditioner, watch CNN, play sports, and then sleep neatly, coolly. You know, have a shining, shimmering, and splendid night. But there's no way you sleep properly in a place like this. And most of us do not care, but I myself care because this is my nature. I hate to see things that should be decent being done poorly. I'm okay, I'm about going. So have a look. Have a look once again before I go. Uh, nobody bothered to fix it. I don't know the students. I want to know where they were kept, the hospital where they are. Even when they've gone home, I want to go and engage them and tell the story. You know, this should attract Channel TV, Sifabe, TV Continental, but people are selfish in Nigeria. They don't discuss critical things. They only discuss things that are nonsense. This is IMT Hostel here in Enugu. Black people need a redeemer. They need a messiah. They need Jesus. But who is going to step forward and speak for the students? After the strike and coronavirus break, they are going to return here. The suffering is going to take a whole new dimension. It's terrible. Look at the building. I don't know. This looks worse than uh, police barracks. <laughs> you know, look at the environment. It's terrible. It's terrible. Take a look at the environment. IMT, IMT, Institute of Management and Technology, Enugu. I'm okay, Manu So when I'm telling you that suffering is too much in Nigeria, you know, you should understand. People who are suffering. The suffering here is monumental. It's too much. It's sacrosanct. It's, it's too much to bear. It's too much to understand. You know, people are still going to write jump and stuff. They get admission into this mess of a place. I don't know where we go from here. Ah, it's not funny. It's not funny. It is pathetic. You know, I'm, I'm going. I have to do a broadcast by 12 or 1. I was supplied with huge information, so I suspended my traveling today to be able to communicate to our people because it's important they know. It's important they, they know these information. The worst of hostels are there. Uh, let me try and get close and show you some other buildings in IMT. So hang on there, share this video. Let me show one or two more buildings here in IMT. They have maximum security here, but I do not care. If you feel what I'm doing is wrong, then you tell me why what I was doing is wrong. You know, sometimes you need, you need to expose these idiots who call themselves the authorities in Nigeria, the governor, the, the senators, the House of Rep, the State Assembly, local government chairman, the ministers, everybody's mad. I want to show one building, so quickly share this video. I am trekking under the sun. Let me show this video before I go. It's important I do. There's a disgusting building there. Oh, every building here is bad, but this particular one, and then I think civil engineering department, is one other hell of a building here at IMT. 
a proper reporter, passionate reporter one day come here, summon the students, encourage them, say, be brave enough to come and hear your view, share your experience, encourage them to do, but nobody wants to do that. Everybody's promoting a governor. Everybody's promoting local government chairman, looking for 2,000 naira, 3,000 naira. This is why black Africans will never see civilization. They will never develop. No black African country is developed. <laughs> because of insanity, nobody wants to do what is right. People only want to do what is going to put some money in their pocket. And it's causing us trouble. That's why you see imbecilic leaders. You see a guy who squanders state fund, IGR ran federal allocation for four years. He goes back. He's going to have a landslide victory. And then you ask yourself why. One of them is Willie Obiano, governor of Anambra State. He's a disaster of a man. He was terrible. The worst governor ever in the history of Anambra, even Anambra Inugu, prior to 1991. But Willie Obiano won, I think he won 21 local government in Anambra. <laughs> And 2021 is going to be global elections in Anambra. Will you be is going to successfully, easily, cheaply, without fear or without any scare? Will you be is going to put somebody, a puppet, to continue in Anambra State? Let me show you this building here in IMT so you understand what I'm talking about. I'm almost there. In fact, I'm breathing fast. I shouldn't be stressing, but nevertheless. This sacrifice is worth it. So let's go. This is IMT. This is somebody's department. So let me turn the camera so you see. This is a department in IMT. You see? This is a force. Most of us are watching from diaspora. Share this video. Click on share. I've been here before. I reported this sad situation here. This is IMT. I don't know what they're doing with this uh, half tank of water. I don't know what they're doing with it. So let me go to the front of the department. So that is why their children are studying in America, in Germany, in France, and Denmark. They don't care about this place. This building is going to collapse very soon. Look at this building here at IMT. It is going to collapse and people are going to die. You know, Nigeria, the state of Nigeria has made it easy for everybody to be a prophet. These buildings have decayed. They've decayed. Look at IMT. You know, when this place collapsed, now some of you will call me prophet, that I'm ordained, I'm not ordained, but the state of the building is giving me a clue. Look at IMT, somebody's department, where students study your son, your daughter, look at where they study. Snake me around, you Then I won't again, I go out for IMT. When it collapsed, now they're going to report it. 5,000 students die, 100 die. And there is government in this country. Look at a machine there. It means that this is a proper department. Maybe mechanical engineering or something. Or biology. Look at the department. Oh my God. Jesus Christ. I don't know where to go from here. IMT. Look at department. Jesus. You see? And this school, they have mass come department. But I don't know who is motivating them or where they are getting motivation from. Nobody's talking about these things. If you have a voice and you are unable to speak for the people who are voiceless, then you are imbecilic. You are not worthy to live. Look at here, IMT. You see, there's no way I will cross. I have to turn again so I can get front of the department because I want to confirm which department is this. So I'm going to turn. To go. How do you go? University in Cambodia, the worst university in Vietnam, the worst university in Philippines can never be like this. But this is Nigeria. Omo Buhari and I go to England. Omo, all of them. Omo will be an unknown at Texas. Omo Devi Omo here in Nigeria. Omo Onyo Omo here in Obuda. Oh, Omo Omo Obu Onyo Omo Onde Omo Onyo Gekuruma. Oh, how many ever? Ta for for share this video. Click on share. This is time to ask questions of our elected officials. What are you doing with IGR, the federal allocations, and of course, school fees paid by these students? IMT have over 30,000 students. They pay school fees. I know departments who pay 40,000, 50,000 per semester, and a year is two sections. A year is two semesters, or two term. What are the authorities doing with their school fees? What are they doing? 
This place is so disgusting. I'm going to continue to show you. Let's see. I want to see the department. So you see, this is where people study. This environment alone can cause you depression. <laughs> Some of us don't understand, but I am critical of everything that is not properly managed or executed. You see, let's go to the front and see the department. I wish this is a school day where I, when I can see students and ask them questions. This place is very poor. It's very poor. Too poor. So I'll see the department. Thank you. Click on share. Just click on share. It's enough. I have nothing to do with this school. I don't have no relation here. I have no relatives. I am not studying here, but I feel for them. I feel heavily for students of this school. So I'm coming to the front so I can see the department. It's IMT. Institute of Management and Technology. So let's see. The department that is this disgusting. Asus Venture Office. I cannot see the department. I don't even see the en entrance. I cannot see. But well, this is the front view of the department. It's a shame. I'm okay, man. I'm okay, man. I'm okay, man. I'm one almighty mess. This country is irredeemable. You know, I think they locked the door. This is the entrance. They locked it. So there's no way I can access in there. <sighs> now you can understand. You can see the sacrifices that I make every day. The risk I take to see lives of our people improve. You can see the limit I'm willing to stretch. You know, people have been talking about uh, bar, okay, there you uh, go to there, 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 and all that. I'm planning to go to Abia State. It's not recording and editing, it's live reporting. You know, people can take a cameraman, they record, they crop in, they crop out and stuff. But what I do is live reporting. You are seeing me live. Even the government of Enugu, if they have eyes, they will see me too. This is barbaric. They should lock the school down, improve the school or close the school. It's unimaginable. It's incredibly sad. To know that there are over 30,000 human beings suffering here due to wickedness of mankind, due to wickedness of those in authority, those in power. You know, the cost people call politicians in Nigeria. The people, maybe beds of it, maybe nature, maybe spirits, I don't know, brought coronavirus to help fight for the foolish population of Nigeria. Who saw their death? Who saw the sources of their death? Who saw those causing them death? Yet, they don't want to address it. One day is a shame. Eh? <laughs> like I said, I wish this is a schooling day that I can actually meet students and have work with them. It's a shame, but I have to, I have to show you around a little more before I go. I don't know what the time is, but I have a broadcast today. I have a broadcast to do, a critical broadcast to do from home. So I'm going to go soon and then face it. It's a shame. It's poor. Standard of, no matter the way you look at it, it's poor. So let me try to go down and show you more of IMT. IMT is massive. Mascom department is there. When you go to Mascom department, you need to put your touch light in the afternoon. Mascom department of IMT. You need a touch light in the afternoon to be, to be able to see. And you see the lecturers moving about with clean cars. You know, money from sorting of courses and stuff like that. Here about the state of these people. Education, excellence in education has a lot to do with your mentality. You know, with your mindset. With the things happening around you, but they will never do. They will never improve people's life. Instead, they enrich their individual pockets. So this is IMT. You are seeing IMT. IMT is massive. Massive decayed infrastructures. You know, but let me walk down a little. I'll show you a little more before I go. I wish I have a student showing me around, but let me try to walk down and see another building.
So it's a shame, wherever you're watching from, you pity for students of IMT. Their suffering is, is huge, <laughs> it's unimaginable. And they are not vocal. One thing is knowing your problem, fighting your problem, but people here know their problem and they are not facing it. They are not facing it for one day. So whatever happens, they take. I don't know my way here, that's the problem. <laughs> I wish I have somebody who studies here who is directing me. Oh, this is Department of Fashion and Clothing. This is not where I'm looking for. I'm actually looking for Mascom. Mascom should be the other way around. Maybe I'll use my car. I have my car then. Up there, maybe I'll use my car to go to Department of Mascom and show you the state of mass communication. We are the one to get uh, Christina Mampa from Rosemary Church, Michael Holmes, Zain Asha, you know, all these top reporters in CNN, BBC, Al Jazeera, Sky News, Press TV, and of course, Al Jazeera Qatar. This is where they want to get the people from. <laughs> Black people are cost. They are irredeemable. They think poorly. You know, the brain of a typical black man will cost you tears for 20 years. They don't think. They are suffering. No light, no road, no future, nothing. People today go to school knowing fully well that there is no job. And you ask them, there is no job in Nigeria. Why go to school? They say they want to go because other people go to school too. Nobody wants to be left behind. <laughs> I remember those days, 15 years ago, my elder ones, when they came out of this particular school, IMT, suit and stuff. Every day you see them with files. They go about submitting CV, going for interviews. Nobody's doing all those things today. Nobody's looking for a job in Nigeria today because there is no job. Obviously, I clear, look at my mouth, so dehydrated, but this effort I feel is worth the pain. So let me enter the car. I'll go to mass command then I'm going to go home and do my my broadcast. I got a report, you know, which I investigated about full and his men. The full and his men and I kidnapping people in Nigeria. They kidnapped two of my friends on Tuesday. We paid two million naira. Oh, is it <laughs> a story for the next broadcast, you know? Hey, Deputy, Deputy, Deputy Director. Thank you very much, Deputy. I'm going to Mascom Department of IMT to show you. If you go there, you need to put a touchlight. So I'm going to Mascom Department of IMT, Institute of Management and Technology. A lot of people are looking at me. They say, this boy is fearless. Why would I be fearful? Who am I going to be scared of? I'm only blowing gospel truth. I've not lied. If you think that the state of IMT is proper, you come to, for yourself and see. The students are deeply, badly, they are incredibly suffering and smiling. You know, one thing is suffering and complaining, another thing is comfortably suffering, not asking your oppressors questions. I'm suffering, yes, but I'm putting pressure on those oppressing me. I am the oppressed. You know, Nigeria, is this IMT Enugu? No, this IMT is at uh, Independence Layers, very close to Camp of Rangers and uh, Spa. I think it's at Independence Layout. I came to but I know that this is Independence Layout. You know, it's close to, if you know Rangers Camp, if you know Spa, it's very close. So, we are going to Department of Mass Communication. So, my car is down there. Let me make use of it. <laughs> Deputy is a very good man, Deputy Director, Indigenous People of Biafra. You know, the only people I respect, the only souls that speak for me, for me and my family and discuss our welfare, what we are going to do to survive as a people. So you are going to see Mascom Department of IMT. So the sun is too much, but like I said before, this effort is worth the sacrifice. You know, whatever I do to lift my living standard, that of my family and our people at large is worth it. I left my water and it's, it's a problem because I can't survive without water for one hour. But I've done that. I've been talking for up to one hour without water. You know, but it's okay. There are students there, so I'm going to try to capture some of them. People are appreciating deputy. When a big man comes, you know, deputy is a big man, which may for as you chairman know, for deputy director, uh, second to the supreme leader, the supremacy of the people of Biafra globally, the only body talking about the 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 the, the, the brutal, the incarcerated, 
you know, people of Biafra, the intimidated people of Biafra. Uh, there's only one body on it talking about them, which is IPOB, indigenous people of Biafra, under the watch of Mazi Nandi Kano. And of course, the man watching Mazu Chemefo, you know, a slow voice with so much power in it. Which of is a man who talks slowly, but if you relax and listen, you hear so much authority, so much force. Fogado is earthquake in his voice. The man I love and respect so much. Which of we are approaching where we were going. Okay, this is Department of Civil Engineering. I'm almost there. So watch, click, and share. Let me show you the department. And I think some of the teachers are there. What I want is a challenge. I want, I want somebody to, to bust out and tell me why I am recording IMT. I want somebody to come and do that, but <laughs> nobody will do it because I am ready. I am too dedicated to what I do. This is Department of Civil Engineering. No, department to do Emma. Okay, you don't know. I'll see it. I don't know the department, but I'm going to go there. Let me turn it. So you see the suffering here. I'm going to climb up. So you see. There are cars, meaning that lecturers are around. So this is what I want. I'm going to do my analysis there so they will listen to me and come out and ask me why. Yes, we are IMT. From here, I'm going to show you mask and then I'll go home. I'll go, I'll climb up, so you see. This is for studying in Indonesia, Malaysia, Thailand, China. If your schools are like this, you comment and tell me, then, then I'll shut up. IMT. Department of Social Laboratory Technology. Laboratory Technology Department. This is the Department of Laboratory Technology. Lab Tech. This is Lab Tech. Okay, man, you man, you man, you go that way. Department of Lab Technology, IMT. And then, no man, you say what happened. I'm showing our people the state of our school. IMT. Everywhere here has decayed. Look at IMT. In Biafra land. <laughs> If you don't see reason why you should support the quest for Biafra to be actualized, you know, this is one of the reasons. This is the infrastructures in our university. No sporting facility. The place is tattered. It's very dirty. Very, very dirty. So I'm going so you see. This is classroom. This is a classroom. How can I use Oche Oche Capen Taco? It's very poor. That's why you see uh, Buhari's daughter returned from London. Uh, Atiku's daughter returned from America. Good afternoon. Hello. Their children are in Western world getting best of education. Look at IMT of all people. This place has collapsed already. It's incredible. And nobody's talking. Nobody's talking about the poor state of IMT. Look at Mascom. You need a torchlight in the afternoon in Mascom department. Look at it. If you are still in accordance with this nonsense, hey, God pray for your higher bill, pray for you. You are mad. These people have stacked billions of dollars in Switzerland, in Germany, in France, in UK. One man was up there looking at me. What is he going to do? Mascom is locked up. This is Mascom department. Look at where they sit. This is where Mascom students sit. On, the, on top of iron. Mascom department. This is Mascom department, IMT. Where you want our mampo and others to come from? Let me show you. This is Mascom department. This class is the VIP class. The main entrance is locked. I could have gone inside. Look at Mascom department, IMT. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. No projector, nothing. No TV there. There's a TV iron there. That iron guard. <laughs> look, at the, look at the chair. Jesus Christ. The main entrance is, lo is locked. So they are looking at me. If they want to call security, it's in order. You take me to the station and tell me what I've done. Let me show you down. 
This is another department. If they, if they have the girls to arrest me, uh, it's okay. You tell me, take me to the station and tell me what I've done wrong. Than telling government to do what is right. That the suffering here is too much. I was here the other day and people were taking re lectures. It was incredibly poor. People are sweating. People are suffering. That is why we learn nothing. That is why we cannot do anything as a people. So wherever you're watching from, from Africa, Asia, Oceania, from North and South of America, this is IMT. Where your daughter is studying, your son, your cousin, your nephew, anybody. This is where they study. This is IMT, one of the most popular schools in Southeast, in Biafra land. It's IMT. I'm going in. I'm, I have sold fear. I have killed fear many years ago. It's IMT, so you see. Institute of Management and Technology. Good afternoon, sorry. Huh? Sorry. This classroom is very poor. How are you guys coping? Hmm? The students, they don't want to talk. <laughs> they are comfortable. Everybody is here. Look at yeah. Look at every nine months. Look at it. And we have government in Nigeria. Look at where they study. No fan, nothing. Look at them. And they are zealous. Nobody in school. They are studying. Look at. Is it not a shame? Jesus Christ. Smoke everywhere. They are happy that somebody is actually discussing their issue. The students are happy that somebody is actually discussing the ordeal, their predicament. Nah. You can't Google more. <laughs> but we'll continue. You now, the person broadcasting today is somebody who was unconscious last night. I was very sick last night. I was supposed to do a broadcast, but I didn't do it. Until I got myself insulin and injected my blood. And I'm suffering, stretching again. These are classrooms. The good classroom, every mother I go out, call the care, bend down, and make conference. You see, this is a school in any university. A polytechnic. Look at it from here. You see? <laughs> I am here. If you ever understand, I go home and I go, what's up, and be bereaved. You go to Mass Com Department, you see them dancing. Institute of Management and Technology. I'm not about any technology, you know? I don't know. Look at, look at them. Look at their classrooms. And the authorities are looking at me. Don't with gun and all that nonsense. I have committed no crime. This is a classroom in IMT. <laughs> a shit is on the statement. You know? Oh, question, I'm going to be able to get a little bit of 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 a little a little bit of a and they stop people in here. They teach you what I do not know. You see? This is why we need to negotiate this country again. We need to come together and negotiate. You ask every senator how much is your allowance? How much is given to you to work on your constituent? Governor, how much is IGR per month? And how much is federal? Look at from there. So let me show you one more bit and I'm go. I'm a God, Jesus. This is how it was when I was there in 2002. 2002 to 2020 is 18 years. 18 years on, IMT is worse. Instead of improving, IMT is worse. And there are people, you call them uh, professor, honorable and all that. These people are crap. So I don't believe that anybody's professor here. You are a professor in darkness. <laughs> a professor in decayed infrastructure. You see, let me show you this one more video before I go. About IMT. Institute of Management and Technology. My, my brothers, they studied here. This is business management. Business management. Look at, there's no glass. The glass here is the old days glass. All these window glass. And they, they, they fall off. They're no longer there. Nothing is working here. One day. <laughs> business, if you are business, this is where you come out from and then you become a, a big business manager in this tattered place. In this terrible place. You see? They call it a uh, business managed department. You see? Why wouldn't I feel it's my school? I'm feeling my school. Eh? I want to take record of my school. He's asking me why. Don't I have the right to take video of my school? What, what, what is he talking about? 
This is why we are po somebody, somebody who is limping, Tata is asking me why I'm taking video of the department. Somebody is asking me why I'm taking I said, be a good actor, I'm a Asking me why I should take video of a uh, uh, business management department. What if I'm not going over there? So, what I'm right as a, as a citizen, nobody you will come here and video my school. Our school is in my state. A good actor, I say, more. Now, I'm going to say, now, come on, post here on the net. That I shouldn't post the video on net. What if I'm mad at my phone? I they should call police. You call police. Tell them that I, I took video of IMT. Nonsense. This is why some of us run away from this. We are too scared. And I'm a child. I'm idiot. Asking me why I should take video of a business management department. That, that I'm sure I'm not going to post it online. That I shouldn't. If this department is proper, you should even pay me for videoing it and putting it online. Because it's going to attract students. You know you are living in hell. One idiot there. And what if for him to come and tell me why? That I shouldn't post their, their department on air. Because the department is dirty and decayed. Nonsense. <laughs> you know, it's a shame. It's a shame that... Only I saw the you know, wherever you're watching from, God bless. my battery is low, my data is almost, it's sending messages already. May God guide and protect you. May I also use this opportunity to salute Uche Chukume for the Deputy Director of Radio Biafra. Deputy Onyisi, the Supremacy himself. Uh, thank you for watching me today. I don't have the capacity, I don't have the height to stand before you, not to talk of. You're watching me. It's incredible. Thank you very much. And uh, it's IMT. IMT is terrible. A hostel there fell down and sent some female students to the hospital. And the hostel is still like that. You know, no improvement. Nobody cares because the people that matter, their children are studying in diaspora. They are not in IMT. They are not in UNED. They are not in ESU. They are not in IMSU. Naked there. Futo. Or Imopoli. Oh, my God. They are not in Absu. Abiapoli. You know, I'm okay with my own once again. Good morning. Good afternoon, good evening. Chuku Meluna Amara. Chuku Debunu. I am still waiting for that idiot that told me not to post the video. Yes, my number is, let me post my number. 090 Let me put my WhatsApp number and pin it. Look at my mouth. If you look at my mouth now, you see what I passed through. You see, look at my mouth. It's white, it's dry. No saliva in my mouth. You know, look at my mouth. But it's worth it. 09017342790. 09017342790. God bless you and have a good afternoon.